So here we have it, the rascal. Uh, I hope that the light is not playing too many games here because I'm actually using a headlamp <laughs> to be able to get uh, decent light when doing this video. And uh, I've already made two short videos or overview videos of this knife. Uh, not a review in any way. But uh, I've stated that I like this knife, that it is a, a good, comfortable, three finger grip knife and it's three finger regardless of if you use the choil or not i can't really squeeze in or i maybe i can actually but it it's i mean yeah well three and a half fingers may sound really uncomfortable but it's not it is actually quite comfortable in hand um one thing that I, didn't, that I didn't notice at first, because I've, <clears throat> I've been using gloves mostly when I've been using this knife and to be honest the rest of my knives as well, and that is that the spine is actually quite sharp. Uh, I mean if you go like a grip like this, it is, you feel that it is kind of sharp. And the choil is also a bit sharper than what I am used to. Not in any way a deal breaker, I could smoothen it out if I wanted to, but then again I am in most cases going to use gloves, especially now during uh, winter and also during autumn and spring, but in summer of course no gloves. Uh, but regardless of gloves or not, I mean it's still not uncomfortable to use it, it just I just feel that it is indeed sharper than most of my other uh, bark grip knives. Other than that, I love this design. I've stated that several times, I've done some comparison videos uh, for size comparison and this is a, a really nice uh, prototype model. I, I hope we'll see a production run in sort of this size and I also wouldn't mind uh, seeing a Rascal 2 that is just slightly larger. Uh, I don't want a, a larger model to replace this one, I just want a, a larger model to, to complete this one if I put it like that. Anyways, I thought we were gonna put it to some, some sort of uh, uh, use. Um, then again, uh, use is a, a relative term. Uh, right now I'm just thinking slicing some different sorts of paper maybe, doing some feather sticks, uh, going for some, some wood carving of sorts. Um, I don't have too many fruits or vegetables at home to slice up, but let's let's just do as much as we can with what we have. Also the light source here, I'm using a, <laughs> a headlamp because uh, it's the only way to get decent light right now and I hope it doesn't mess up uh, the quality of the video too much. But uh, I think we should start off with slicing some uh, paper, yeah. So here we have a um, piece of paper, regular Printing paper, nothing special, uh, not too thin, not too thick, just you know, an ordinary piece of paper. Let's see if I can hold this the best way to do some um, cutting here and get a good angle. Yep. Kind of effortless. So that was the piece of <clears throat> the piece of paper test. Um, no real surprises, to be honest. So let's go for something different. Let's see what we can do. So I got this um, magazine here with um, 
slightly uh, thinner paper uh, that we can try to do some uh, cutting off. Not sure how well this can be seen. Yeah, um, if you need a good paper slicer, uh, maybe this is the knife to go with. Then again, I mean most knives, or in fact all my knives can sli slice paper uh, fairly well. So I mean it's not something that is unique to this one, um, to, be, to be honest, I mean. But it's a nice feeling slicing with this one. Just because it's so super satisfying, I'm gonna slice up one more page. Just because I can and want. I think we have probably done enough paper slicing now. Let's go for something else. Let's see what we can do. Not too bad, actually. Not bad at all. Good job, little rascal. Maybe you want to go head to head with the ULB. I'm not 100% sure you would win, but you would still be good competition. So, let's see. Mm. 
Not bad at all. Let's put this in the lanyard hole. There we go. Sweet. So, what are we going to do next? That's a good question. Um, I'll think of something. Give me a second. So, I'm thinking there must be something we can do with this piece of wood. Uh, I'm not gonna try to smash through it or dig my way through it because it's kind of a sturdy piece, but let's do something with it. Not really sure what, but we will figure something out along the way. That much I know. It's a bit dirty. Stand up, it's gonna be a bit easier doing something. Spine is sort of sharp. Like I said, it's not a deal breaker, but something to take into consideration that there is a sharp spine and also a somewhat sharp choil. Just like a FYI. So we ended up doing some. Um, feathers it's not too bad actually it's actually it's pretty decent in my opinion yeah not too bad maybe we can do something more than just some feathers so we've got some different types of feathers this is from the barbecue thing this is from the larger piece of wood if we go back to this piece I think we can try to do some um, I don't know some it's called like notches or something when you yeah whatever you will get the general idea Stand like this. Really hard wood.
hard dry wood. Not the easiest to work with, you know. Kind of smooth. Hmm. See how the edge is holding up. Let's get the lighter. Looking pretty good. But is it still slightly sharp? It is still pretty sharp. Is it magazine paper sharp? Maybe yes, maybe no. Hmm. I will say this once again that this steel is Elmax. Some people claim it to be quite brittle, but this is this is hard wood that I just did this thing in, and it's still holding up the edge really, really well. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I'll have to think something up. Otherwise I'm just gonna post this as a first video of sorts. Um, see if I can get some good. You know, the, it is difficult with light, but yeah. There are other videos you can watch if you wanna see how, how sweet this knife is looking. It's a keeper, for sure. But I do think I will wear gloves <laughs> when I use it. Then again, it is winter, so...